Yo guys, so today I'm gonna be showing you how to showcase your footage when you do like a before and after shot. You know, sometimes we got the, like this little white line that wipes across the screen and it just shows like the before and after. So it is so easy to do in DaVinci Resolve and we're about to take a look on how to do that. So let's head over to DaVinci and right now, here we go. We have our footage from uh, Zeke of Props go to Z. He he let us have these uh, footages that we could play around with. Now I want to show showcase how we can turn this S log three into some nice colorful footage. But I want to use that little wipe thing, that little wipe effect. All you gotta do is have the same clip on two sides and have enough space to to have that little transition transition effect. Make sure you have enough time in your clip to be able to have add that transition in between. So I just made a cut in between the clip right on the center. We could even go a little bit farther to the left so we could see the effect right away. And when you click between the two little clips, you see that there is like a little icon showing when the two clips meet. Make sure that the pointer or the timeline guide is on the center of the two clips, in between the two clips, and then you go over to the dissolve effect. You click on it, automatically it adds like a one second transition. So we're gonna make it a little bigger to have it a nice smooth uh, pan across. Uh, let's do two seconds. And then you head over to the effects tab or the inspector tab, and you wanna use edge wipe. So once you got the edge wipe, you have to say, you have to add a border. So this is our border. And yes, you notice that the line is going right now up and down. We don't want it to go up and down. We actually want it to go sideways. So we got to turn the angle to 90 degrees. Now, depending on which angle you turn it, it's either going to end up going left or right. So if we go... 90 degrees positive is going to go from the left to the right. And if you want to go the opposite direction, just hit a minus 90 degrees. So m minus 90 degrees, it will be the opposite. So we go from the right to the left. And since our transition is two seconds, that's how long it's going to take from the line to go across the whole screen. So I want to go from left to right. So we're going to leave it at 90 degrees. And the border of the line, you could make it as thin as you want or as thick as you want. It doesn't matter. You could change the color. You could make the line be black, but I'm going to leave it white so it's very easy to see. And of course, you could add a transition to the curve so it starts off slowly and then goes fast and then slows down at the end. But again, we don't want any of that. I want a nice, even pan across the screen. That's it. We're done, guys. <laughs> so pretty much it just add the edge wipe transition, turn the line sideways, and you're all set to go. All we have left to do is edit the clip next to it. So we're gonna go to our color page, and we're gonna go to the right side. So that you see we have two clips right here. So pick the one on the right, and then I'm gonna do my usual color space transform. Now since for tutorial's sake, I'm just gonna do a very, very quick one right now. I'm not even adding a lot of um, nodes, just gonna use one node, that's it. It's just so spare of the moment. That's it. I'm just gonna do S log 3. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and add a rec 709. So let's say you wanna, you know, do a little bit of a color effect here and there, you know, play around with the clip how you want it. And once we have it all set, we are good to go. Now check it out. Let's go ahead and go back to the cut page and see what we got. So let's put the clip at the beginning and check it out. We're all set. Once it plays, and you get the nice pan. Of course, due to my computer being so lux <laughs> low spec, this is just an M1 Mac Mini, the base one, eight gigs of RAM. So I can't get a nice smooth transition, but there you go. All right, we saw it. You see, that's how you get the nice before and after effect. Pretty cool, right? Let's do another clip really quick. Again, 
Let's follow the steps. We're here in between the two clips. We got our cut. We're going to hit dissolve, transition dissolve, select it, and change the type. We're going to hit edge wipe, increase our border to what we like, something really thin is nice, and then hit the angle to 90. Actually, this time, why don't we go the other way? Minus 90. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. my bad. Minus 90. Bam. We go over to our after shot and go to the color space, select the after shot, and again, do our little edit, copy it here, bam. If you want to make other adjustments, you know, make it a little different. There we go, that looks nice, very cinematic. Here's the before, here's the after, and again. Once the clip ends, it's gonna transition. And look at that, pretty cool, right? So easy to do. That's all you gotta do, guys. If you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial, hit a thumbs up, share, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.